managing to access the videos and all of the work that has been set including the worksheets. Now this little video is about to explain what this project is going to be all about but before I start that there's a couple of things I want you to be aware of. First of all make sure that the title of the video matches the group that you're in okay there are going to be three of these little videos uh, but please make sure that you select the right one for your group. What you'll also notice then in this video in the bottom right hand corner here there is a pause button of which I will press pause at various points throughout the video to enable you to complete the task before carrying on. So for now I'll just turn that pause button off. So as we look at this project, it's a robots project for year seven, you'll notice that there are four tasks that need to be complete. You'll have seen this type of table in the classroom, no doubt, but there are four tasks that are going to be complete. I'll pause them at each time. Each of those tasks, there is a set type of thing that you need to be working towards and they are leveled obviously the more work that you produce if you read through this information here the more detail that's in there the more explanations that are in there the higher level that you're going to get as well along with that we've got a learning overall learning room and we've got also some keywords now these are really important really important that you probably highlight these and that you practice your vocabulary uh, particularly to do with design and technology and these keywords that keep coming up because they're going to be really useful. I've got some key connectives here that you could possibly use when doing any written work and so please look out for those on each page as we go through it. So the first task then is about analysing a design brief. So we've got some information here. We've got a design brief to design a robotic home help device which would help the elderly or disabled people carry out everyday tasks in the home. This first task is for you to read through that information and put some answers in these parts here for each of these questions there is a bit of a sentence starter and what I'd like you to do is to try and complete those so that's the first task what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a moment and allow you to complete it okay having paused for a moment there this will give you an opportunity now to have a look back what you've just written and make an assessment a bit of self-evaluation see how well how much detail did you put in there was it just one word was it a full sentence did you need more space for instance so have a bit of a judgment there having done that what you can then do is we can move on to the next task. You'll notice that I've put the level down here as well. And this is a continuation to analysing the design brief and writing a specification. What you'll notice is we've got a specification here. These are a list of key points. Key points that I would like you to explain in a little bit more detail. Again, I've got a sentence starter there for you. So you just need to then fill in the spaces using the information that you've just looked at. So once again, You'll notice that the pause button has just appeared, so this gives you an opportunity to now complete that task. Right then, having completed your specification, you have explained hopefully what you want your project to do or your robot to do and how we'd like it to help. The main thing now is to then bear this in mind when you're creating your design. 
Now, in many cases, to help you come up with some ideas, it's very useful to do a bit of a mind map of things that currently exist. So this is an opportunity for you to go to the, onto the internet, collect a range of images, and use these potentially to help you come up with a design idea. Now, the initial design ideas is literally a case of coming up with as many ideas as you can. I've got some here that have been started. You may wish to finish those and think about how you feel that that would look. Alternatively, you could come up with your own designs just here. What we're then going to do is we're going to take that a step further. So I want you to take one of your design ideas and I would like you to develop it. OK, thinking about these things just here. Now, remember, your design idea should meet the requirements from your specification. Now, this is an example of how I'd like you to set your work out. So we've got a nice, neat drawing, hopefully in pencil. Please add a bit of colour to it to make things stand out and any notes or annotations to explain what it is that your robot does. That will help justify your design. In other words, that will help tell me how your design meets those specification requirements set out just here. So for you to do that, I'm now going to press pause. And that will enable you to complete that task. Right, just like before, we have got the grading criteria just down here. So what I'd like you to do, have a look at that, have a look at the work that you've just produced, and perhaps circle where you feel your work sits. Following on from that, we'll then move on to the next task now. This task is a bit more enjoyable, perhaps, for some of you, than the written ones particularly. But... This is about actually making a prototype. So this is about looking at your design, having a bit of a rummage around the house, see what products that you can get a hold of, and trying to make a model, a bit like this one, of your robot. Once you've made that model, if you could take a photo of it and place it in here, that will be perfect. And once again, it will enable you to then mark and make a judgment as to how well and how successful your robot was. So once again, I'm going to pause just there for you to complete that task. OK, once that's done, we're moving on to the final section, the final task now, and this is about creating an evaluation. What I've put here is a bit of a score chart, so you can use this scoring here from 0 to 5, and you're scoring how well your model, your design, meets that original specification that we looked at earlier. So we give it a score from 0 to 5 for each of these, and then add it up. What I'd then like you to do is, considering all of those things that we've just spoken about and those points in your specification, is to briefly explain how well you feel your product meets it. And you can use that scoreboard there to help you. Obviously, if it's scored high, it would meet that specification point quite successfully. And as a result, you're just telling me what it is that you've done. And obviously, I'm in the reverse of that. If it scores quite low, then what I would like you to tell me is why perhaps it scored low and what you could do to perhaps improve it. That will then help to justify where you sit in terms of the evaluation afterwards. So once again, for the final time, I'm going to pause for a moment. At which point you should be successfully able to complete that project to have completed all of these tasks, to circle the ones and what level you feel you are, this then is ready to be submit. So, thank you very much, and we'll see you again.